So if you remember the if statements or nested ifs, similarly you can have uh, nesting of loops within loops or nesting of loops within if statements. So for instance, if you want to process something like this, first a row, then a column, how do you do that? So this iteration is in one loop and then this iteration is another loop, right? So the slide basically tells you how are you going to do that and so on. So I'm just gonna jump directly to the code. Uh, so for X in, so first you, uh, so this is the pseudocode. So print a new table row, then a print a new line, okay? So how do we print a table row? We print like this. And I'm gonna show you the code is the table, okay? So what's happening here? So you have 10 rows and four columns, okay? So for n, which is any variable in this range, what is the range? Starts with one, ends at n max or column plus one, okay? So what's happening here in this line is you're just printing out the uh, headers. So for now, just skip these two lines and or even this one and let's see our nesting down here, okay? And I'll show you like what these things are. Okay, so what's happening here? So, so let me just show you first. So this is the result. So those first three lines are just printing these. So the first for loop is printing this, the next for loop is printing this, then you have a line being printed, and then this is the main loop what's uh, printing that table, essentially. So this loop, okay? So what's happening is we have 10 rows and four columns, right? Okay, so let's come down here. So these loops are just, if you understand this, you should be able to understand these, how these are printing. So for x in any variable in this range, what's the range start with one and with 10 plus one, which is 11, right? So remember first to include is one, first to exclude is 11, meaning it should run from one to 10. Okay, then it says print the xth row in the table. So we are in the first row, okay? So we are going to print this first row. So first row is what? You need to print the columns. So in each row, you need to print columns, right? So in the first row, you're going to do what? Do this for any variable in this range. What's the range? Range is one to four plus one, meaning starts from one, stops at four. Do what? Print this. What is this? This is uh, a placeholder, essentially. So that's another way to print. So in print, what it's saying is, this is the placeholder. What is a placeholder? You need 10, uh, uh, like leave 10 spaces for a floating point number. And what is that floating point number? It's this after the percent sign. So that's just a way to uh, format the output, okay? You can just uh, do it with spaces also, but this is what it is doing. It's saying put 10 spaces for a floating point number and put whatever comes at the percent sign here. What is that? You multiply your X, which was one, N was one, right? and print that, this one is printed. Then what, oops. Then it says go back here. So now your N is 
2 now. So you are still in the range. So now x is 1 times um, x is 1. So what's happening so if you see like so there are two multiplication signs right so if you remember it's to the power of it's not multiplication my bad so it's x to the power of n okay so how what's happening is so in the first row x is 1 down you come here n is 1 1 to the power of 1 is what this thing so this one is printed then what then your n is 2 now right so it has to complete this loop so now it goes back here n is 2 your x is still 1 1 to the power of 2 is this then your n is 3 it comes back up here now your n is 3 1 to the power is 3 again 1 is printed then finally 4 remember it's n, n, n max plus 1 is 5 so fourth time it prints that, this one, and then what happens? Then this loop is finished. This loop is finished, it goes back to this first loop. Now your x is 2, okay? So 2, it comes down here, n starts again from 1 to 4. So now 2 to the power of 1, which is this. Then 2 to the power of 2, 3, 4. That inner loop is finished, it goes back out to the outer loop, it increases your x to 3, and the inner loop starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Right? So that's what it's doing. And then in when the loop finishes, you just print you come out uh, and start printing a new line, an empty line. That is okay so that's what this program is doing and for these so what this percent 10 d is saying put 10 spaces and put a decimal number after those and what is that that's an n so that's this is putting these numbers 10 spaces put a decimal number 10 spaces put a decimal number and so on the, the next loop is then you come to a new line uh, what was I saying uh, 10 spaces and a string which is X with a space 10 spaces X 10 spaces X 10 spaces X so this is what it's doing and then finally print new line and a space and then put dashes times 35 so your cursor was here print a new line spaces dashes 35 and then uh, a new line essentially okay and the results are uh, this thing power table the program is given change these values and see how it it works okay so that's an example of nesting so make sure you understand these so I'll, I'll show you the first one and make sure you understand all these so what's happening in the first one for i in range 3 remember if it's 1 it starts from 0 to 2 exclude this one or include 0 1 2 uh, 3 yeah include I think 0 to 3 okay and then uh, in this range J starts from 0 to 4 so print star and end is miss basically um, that put an empty space or put nothing in the end so print star how many times four times uh, Yes, four times, yeah. Zero, one, two, three. Yeah, so zero to th three is four times. So first to exclude, that is. So from zero to first to exclude. 
print four stars, which are these four stars. Okay, then control goes back uh, here. Now your I is one. J starts again from zero to three. So it prints those four stars. Then again, control goes back up here. And this print is basically coming to a new line. So after the first four stars, this print statement means new line. So it prints these stars, new line. Now your I is two. J starts again from zero to three, zero to four that is, so zero, one, two, three. It prints these three stars. Then this loop finishes. This loop finishes, it comes down here. Print new line, cursor is now here. Goes back up, checks again, Not, uh, condition becomes false. It comes out of this for loops, your control comes here. So your cursor, your output stops here. Okay, so similarly for these, make sure you understand, then the next steps again, hand trace your loops. Any loop that you want to write, make sure you hand trace it on paper first. Uh, to understand what's happening. Die toss example as well given uh, in here. In here the only thing is the rand int function. Rand int function is basically one that's used to generate a random integer in this range. Okay. Inclusive I think yeah. So rand int function will return an integer in this range. So that's it to understand in this, the rest um, you should understand what this for i in range 10 means, okay? If you don't, go back, read the slides, listen to the lecture. You should be able to do this lab and the next lab that are like practice labs, okay? So that is it for this lecture.